So in this video, we're gonna learn the CR7 step over chop. So if you're still yet to see the man himself performing this move, I'm gonna put a link in the description box below where you can see Ronaldo performing this move against PSG in the Champions League. And if you wanna stay up to date with all the latest Champions League news, so when we see Ronaldo performing this at top speed, it looks a little bit complicated. You're not really sure what's going on, but if you slow the move down, you'll realize it's very simple. It actually involves two of Ronaldo's trademark moves just combined together. So the first move is just a simple step over and he used his left foot to go around the ball. So you wanna just break it down into two moves and get good at each move individually and then try to combine them. So the first step of this move is a step over. So all we're doing is having the ball out in front of us and as Ronaldo used his left leg, we're gonna use that for this tutorial and all we're doing is spinning our foot around the front of the ball. So you want it to go around the front of the ball here. You don't want it just going over the top, you actually wanna protect that ball. So slight bend in the opposite leg for balance and we're just moving that foot around the ball. So that's step one, just a very basic step over. The second step in this move is the Ronaldo chop. Obviously it's called the Ronaldo chop because Ronaldo performs this one all the time. He usually performs this one by himself but in this occasion he combined it with a step over. So we already got good at the step over, we're going to practice that multiple times till we get fluid with it. Now we're going to work on the Ronaldo chop. So the Ronaldo chop is just using the inside of our foot here. It's similar to a Cruyff turn, but instead of keeping our foot planted like we would in a Cruyff turn, we sort of hop in between. So it's more of a chopping action, a little less smooth, a little more abrupt. It's gonna catch those defenders off guard easier. So the Ronaldo chop looks a little something like this. So what we're doing is using the inside of our foot nearer the top, and we're chopping to the side of the ball almost like a small pass to the inside and our opposite leg is coming around the ball at the same time. But you wanna hop in between, so it's not stepping on the inside and then putting our foot around the ball, it's all in one movement. So you wanna get used to hopping on that strong leg as we chop it to the inside. So just to show you one more time, as we come with the ball, we're chopping it and then we're changing direction. So Ronaldo performs us at top speed, really leaves defenders behind with this one. So make sure you work on it a few times and then we'll combine the two. So now that we've mastered these moves individually, it's time to combine them together. So the way we do this, what we're gonna do is we'll have the ball out in front of us. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna step around the ball with our left foot, because we're replicating the way Ronaldo did it. So we're stepping around that ball. And then as our foot hits the ground, we're immediately picking our right foot up and then we're gonna hop again straight into the chop. So it needs to be very rhythmic. It's almost like a little dance move or something. So as that foot comes across the ball, after you've done the step over, you're touching the floor for just a second, straight onto the other foot. And as we bounce onto that other foot, that's when we're performing the chop. So let's just do it very slowly and then we'll speed it up. So as we knock the ball out, step around the ball hop onto the other foot and Ronaldo chop it to the inside. So let's perform it a bit quicker now. So knock the ball out in front, step over, chop, and you're away. Have it guys that was the cr7 step over chop make sure you practice this one if you can get it down it's going to be very effective falling the defenders and over time you'll see that your foot speed gets a lot quicker as you get more comfortable with the move maybe it's going to take a while to get up to that ronaldo speed but if we keep practicing we can always improve so i hope you enjoyed this